channel next lab analytics my name is Niharika Rai and in this particular video I will be talking about theory of estimation or estimation theory if you haven't watched my previous videos please go ahead and watch those videos as well please click on the i icon on the top right hand side corner of your screen so that you can go to that with those videos also please click on the like button and the share button if you like this video and you'd like to share it with your friends to share the information also press the bell icon so that you are always updated when I post my videos. Now so without wasting any further time let's get started. So the theory of estimation is a branch is a branch in statistics that provides numerical values of an unknown parameter of the population. So when I am saying this I basically mean that suppose that we have a, a company or an industry whatever you want to call it a firm where we have the few employees okay sorry for the drawing not good at drawing at all so we have few employees say 30 and we want to understand or we want um, we want some a value that represent the income value that represents the entire population that means all the items or all the uh, observations or all the person who are there in this firm that represent the income of the 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 this the people here or the population and we want a single value so what we are doing here is we are trying to um, you know generalize what this mass or we are trying to find out the underlying property of this population so and this underlying property is hidden so a parameter or a numerical value um, which is drawn from this population which tells something about this population is um, can be said as the theory uh, the theory of estimating yes estimating something about this population uh, this is a process of guessing guessing the underlying properties of a population by observing the sample that has been taken from the population the idea behind uh, this is to calculate and find out the approximate value or the uh, values of the population parameter so here the population parameter can be the income it can be anything else or whatever so now when i'm saying uh, the when i'm using the term population sorry i mean parameter by parameter i mean the income mean so when i'm saying uh, population i basically mean all the item or all the observations in this form are taken into consideration okay so when I am saying that um, when I am talking about a sample here sample here when I am talking about the sample by sample I mean suppose that overall the, the, the number of employees in a company are 100 okay the total the total population is 100 so the population size is represented by capital N okay and the population mean is represented by mu and the sample is basically taking few of the observations from this entire population per se for out of 100 we are taking only 30 people in consideration in that case the sample size will be 30 and it is represented by small n and the sample mean again is represented by this value now what we want to do is suppose that we have a sample now what estimation theory the back end or uh, the intuition behind uh, estimation theory is that um, suppose that I have a population which cannot be calculated all the values cannot be calculated or aggregated so so I take out a sample and based on that sample I try to guess whether this particular property say mean of uh, 40,000 mean of 40,000 
is a representative of the entire population so what i'm saying here is that even though i have taken 30 people into my observation i am saying on an average my entire population has an average income of 40000 here okay now now let's talk about statistic the term statistics statistic any statistical measure calculated on the basis of sample observation so here we have sample observation and this is my mean so in terms of sample in terms of sample this is nothing but the mean of this is my statistic that is representing my sample here another aspect is sub the uh, to uh, topic of the keyword is estimator now in general estimator acts as a rule or you can say a measure a measure computed on the basis of sample which tells us how to calculate the values of estimate it is a functional form it is a functional form or a formula of all the observa sample observations which are representing the entire sample here now suppose that we have a random sample x1 x2 x3 and xn on a variable x or the x is the population and we have the sample we have taken these observations whose distribution in the population involves unknown parameters jiska distribution hamara mean median mode ya kuch bhi hamara unknown hai Okay. It is required to find out the estimator, estimate that is this theta which is unknown to us say something which is unknown to us on the basis of the sample value. So the job of an estimator is to find out the values of theta, a formula or a functional form that helps us find out the values of theta which represent the entire population. So now if I talk about the characteristics of this estimation theory or the estimator in particular, I would say that an estimator that is um, that is the theta value in that case, whatever is representing the entire population um, should be number one unbiased. Now from uh, what I mean by unbiased is that uh, that is suppose that the predicted value predicted value should be equal to the observed value so whatever the population has whatever the property the population has the the predicted value whatever the uh, we are uh, calculating or trying to uh, observe with the help of the sample uh, the the predicted value should match that population value and in case it does not match in case it does not match the population or the uh, observed value in that case it is called unbiased uh, biased estimator sorry If I draw it graphically, what I basically mean is that suppose the population says that the, the value of theta should be here. Okay. But your expected value is somewhat here. So in that case, we do not have an un, uh, we do not have an unbiased estimator instead we have a biased estimator now the next is consistency now when i talk about consistency i mean to say that um, uh, first of all this is one of the most desired property when you are uh, uh, trying to uh, select your estimator uh, what basically is suggest is that as as your sample size increases 
as your sample size increases the accuracy of the the accuracy of the estimator should also increase with the increase in the size of sample so what i basically mean is that the expected beta values in this case minus the observed beta observed beta values should have zero result at the end as the sample increases or it should move toward the error should move toward zero you can say and the accuracy should increase in terms of uh, matching the uh, theta value of the param of the population and the sample itself the difference between the population and the sample values um should decrease now the S uh, an uh, estimator is said to be efficient or more efficient efficient when it has the smallest variance smallest variance variance also represented as like this smallest variance sigma square when compared to all the rest or rest of the estimators in case there is a consistent estimator whose uh, if the consistent estimator exists whose sampling variance is less than that of any other consistent uh, consistent estimator it is said to be the most efficient um, estimator of them all now the last but not the least is sufficiency so when i say sufficiency an estimator is said to be sufficient if it contains all the information uh, information in the sample about this theta if if the estimator has every each and every value uh, all the information about this theta value then in that case it is called sufficient so that's it for this video hopefully you like this video uh, if you liked it please share and um, with your friends and click on the bell icon if you haven't already um in my next video i'll be explaining you what is point estimation and what is interval estimation and how to how to calculate the calculate these using different methods like uh, uh, most likelihood method and all that so um, do remember to click that bell icon for the updates um if you want to learn more from dexlab analytics or from me or you want to contact us please uh, go ahead uh, and uh, mail us at hello at the rate dexlabanalytics.com you can learn about us on the uh, when, when you will reach the website called www.dexlabanalytics.com if you want to contact us via call or via message you can go ahead and call on the numbers on the screen given right here and if you want to message us on whatsapp we are available here we are currently placed in gurgaon so yeah with uh, so that's it for this video please take care bye bye